Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to outline a shape and then I'm going to show you how I use it in all of the designs that I'm creating. Um, it's maybe something you haven't thought about before, so tune in. This will be a quick, short tutorial um, and hopefully you'll learn something new that you can start using in your own designs. All right, so just open up any size um, file here. I have a letterhead um, size document here and it's just a plain document. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hit an R on my keyboard and a rectangle is going to show up. So now that I have the rectangle here, I can come up to the color and then I'm going to say no color. And I'm going to go right here to the border style and I'm going to select the outline that I want. So here you can do a dash, smaller dash, even smaller dash, and then you can change the border weight here. So I'm just going to go do a plain outline, then I want it to be kind of thin here. Now, if I click on this box, now I can change the color of that um, to any color that I want that box to be. Okay, next I'm just going to add a circle. So if I hit C on my keyboard, a circle is going to pop up. And again, we have the same thing where you can come in, take the color out of the middle, then put an outline on it, um, change the border weight, and then go here to change the color. All right, you can do the same thing with a line. If you hit L on your keyboard, a line will appear. And if you come up here, you're gonna have a few more options. So I'm just gonna change the color. And then the line style, you'll see you can dash, same idea, um, and then the line weight again. And I'm gonna go this solid. And then you can also round the endpoints. And you can see here, it almost um, looks like a button here when you make it nice and thick. So that's an option um, for doing like a call to action button on a design that you have as well. Okay, so now I just have some text here that's kind of boring and I wanna show you how I would maybe use an outline um, to make a design a little more interesting. So come here, I'm just gonna grab this. I'm just gonna copy it and then it's gonna paste it here. And now I can change the sizing just by sliding it out like that. I'm gonna have it hit right there and I'm gonna um, position, go to layers, and I'm gonna drop that into the back. Okay, I'm also gonna make this just a little thinner here. So just changing the border weight. And then here I wanna add a call to action button here. So I'm just gonna do the R again to create a rectangle and then um, change the sizing here. So you can also round the corners on this box. So if you come to the border style, you can do corner rounding. And you can see here that's changing that. I'm gonna change that to text to white. So it stands out a little bit more on the red. And so you can see that that added a little bit of interest to our design as well. Okay, now let's do the same thing with a circle. I'm just gonna come and grab this same circle and bring it here. It's gonna make it a lot bigger. Okay, so what if I wanted to put a color inside of this circle? You can do that as well. Um, so I'm just gonna add that. And now since this is in front of the text, I need to position it to the back. So I'm just gonna drag that to the bottom and then I can change the order weight like that. I can make it a dash order if I wanted to as well. Um, lots of different op options here. And then I'm just gonna add a little line for interest. So let's come here, just add, click on L on your keyboard and a line will appear. Now I'm gonna change that to the red again. Um, I'm just gonna round out the edges and then I think that's a little too thick for my design. So then I'm just gonna change the line weight there. All right, so hopefully you can see um, by adding those outlines on your shapes, you can add a little interest to your design. Um, hopefully you'll find ways to use those and good luck with that. All right, we'll talk to you next time.